Hello and welcome to my channel, Hunting for Rares. The channel where I look for those rare and scarce cards in the Pokemon TCG game, along with some of the other card collecting uh, games. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, then if you, if you subscribe, then you can get notified of when I release videos just like this. Um, but today I'm going to be filming some of my recent uh, purchases that I've bought from eBay. Uh, so as a collector, I'm always looking to kind of expand my set. You can see some of the cards in front of me here. Uh, I've had some new, some new things through the mail. I've had some new orders through the mail. So I bought these uh, on eBay, um, sit, sit searching for some, some great deals to add to my collection or to flip. Um, so what I do is I, I add the I add new cards to my collection and I also sell some of those cards um, at, a, at a profit. So today I'm going to be opening up some of what's come in the last, well today in the post and the last couple of days. I'm going to show you exactly what I bought, the condition, what I bought it for and hopefully what I'm looking to sell it for. Uh, and, and those, the, you know, the value of what I sell um, is based on um, not only looking at the sold listings on eBay, but just having a bit of a knowledge and understanding of those cards as well. So let's start today. I'm going to open up the first one here. Now, I don't know what is going to be in each one of these because, to be quite frank and honest with you, I've bought quite a lot and I can't remember what, what I've got. So um, I'm going to open this up to protect my address, the sender's address, and the card at the same time. It's actually very difficult. In fact, it's pretty easy to see that. Right, okay, so what we've we got here? Let's see what we've got here. It's always interesting to see how they're sent as well to protect them. So that's some solid card. Very good. Thank you, Seller. I appreciate that. All right, so this one. Okay, remember this. So I've got myself a Mewtwo. So this is from the Wizards of the Coast set. Um, so that's the, the 10 slash 102. I don't know if you can see in focus here. So this card here, I picked this up. I'm going to get this out of the packaging and just have a closer look uh, and to inspect it as well. So I bought this card here, um, I believe for £4 and I got this in an auction. And as you can see, this is a, this is in really good condition. Um, so it's a bit of a gamble. You, you have to ask the, the seller for sometimes more photos. Um, but this Mewtwo here looks to be in excellent condition. So I'll just check the back. So yeah, there's some there's some some light marks on the side, but looking at that condition, pick that up for four pounds. I'm actually going to list that today. I'm going to stick that on for eleven ninety nine. Maybe I like to do a bite now, so maybe you might go above that. But eleven eleven ninety nine minimum, and I paid four pounds for that. So. Minus fees, you're looking at almost a double of the of the uh, initial cost uh, and double profit there. So that's my Mewtwo. Very impressed with that. Um, I'm actually just going to put that over there to protect it and not damage it when I start to open up these other ones. So let's get into the second one. So I'm already quids in, which is good. And if you subscribe to my channel, I will be releasing, I've got one video up already, but I will be releasing how I find these kind of deals and... And, and what to look for when buying Pokemon cards, if you're looking to flip them. Um, I think that's important as well. Uh, and I can show you how I do that. So what we got here, so this is coming in a Marvel Comics, some kind of collector's packaging. So what have we got here? Oh, this one, I've just, I've just had a glimpse. I've just had a glimpse. Sorry, I should do this on camera. I've just had a glimpse of what's included here. This, this, I was very pleased with this. So this is, oh, there's two cards. Maybe I bought two of this guy. Right, so this card, I got myself a Charizard. Um, and in, in, to be quite frank with you, I'm not even sure what collection this is from. Um, so it's 19 slash 113. Uh, I need to check out that symbol. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head what Charizard this collection is from. But what I do know is this is, I know it's before, it's definitely before the 2017. It's a holo. Obviously, Charizard always in demand, and it's in excellent condition. So I paid seven fifty for this, and I have seen I've seen cards like this Charizard, this exact Charizard um, from the same collection, even though I don't know what it is, go for fifty pounds. So I don't have this card already, so I can put this in my collection, or I'm going to probably list this for around thirty pounds. So at a purchase price of seven fifty in near mint condition, 
that's going to be you know a five times markup so very happy there look after that card now what other card did i get this is this could be anything right remember this now polyrath so i bought this for five pounds and thinking about it the reason why i picked this up even cheaper so this was listed for seven pounds and i picked this up for five because i negotiated with the seller so this was up for seven but bought this for 750 initially then i saw this i checked the seller's other listings always a good idea if you find a good deal check their other listings because the likeliness is they don't understand the true value of their cards so Went into the went into their other listings. I found this Polyrath, and um, essentially offered him a lower 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 price, five pounds. Made an offer, and he accepted. To, and kind of part of the reason for that is he could send these together and keep the, the postage down. So win win for everyone. Um, now this is in near mint condition as well. And it's a great card. When I last checked, there was one or two listed on the marketplace, so you know scarce as well. Um, now this is from the Expedition series or collection, and I picked this up as you, as as I've said already for five pounds, and I think I can get at least fifteen to twenty, at least. So a three times markup uh, on this. So this seller, you know, it could be this order here could be forty pounds profit. If not, you know what? I'm happy to add that to my collection. That's a lovely card in great condition. You know, Polyrath is quite a cool Pokemon, and there's something about the Expedition series. You know, it's from two thousand and two, so it's an old card, old series, but it's just. There's something really cool about it, especially the holo. So really pleased with that pickup. So that's the second order. Now I don't want to go, I've got two more packages here. Um, so I'll try and get through those quickly. The, the, the problem with these I find is like this, how am I supposed to get into this without damaging the card? Like, look at this, it's so protected, which maybe I shouldn't be moaning. You know, maybe I should be happy that they're being sent so secure and protecting the card. But how am I supposed to get into this without damaging the card, especially on camera? It is a real challenge. Um, I don't want to take scissors to this because, you know, it's like a Pokemon card. Any minor damage completely affects their worth. So there's all sellotape over there. You probably can't see. I'm going to have to do this off camera. In the interest of time, I don't want to damage the card. I'm sorry you can't see this. You just have to look at my collection in the background. And yes, that is a Venusaur, if you were wondering. Probably wasn't. Also on the right, far right, Lapras V Max packed that. You can see that in one of my other videos um, on this channel. So if you scroll through my channel, then you can go and have a look at that. As you can probably tell, I'm still struggling to get in, but as I say, as I say that, I get in. So, right, what we got here? Very well packaged, well played seller. Well played. Right, so what we got? Some cell tape there. Let's have a look. Ready? It's a Dark Machamp. So, you know, this is your a Dark Machamp 2782. So it's not the this is not the holo version. But this is in this is in mint condition, and I picked this up, I think, on auction for two pounds fifty. No, maybe less. I think it was two pounds from memory. It was two pounds. So you know, in this kind of condition, I'm looking for at least six pounds, maybe eight. So again, that's a threefold, threefold increase in what I pay for it and what I expect it to sell for. You've got to take into account the fees, 10% on eBay. So, you know, 10% six pounds, it's going to be 60p plus the postage, another 60p. I'm still going to be making at least double profit. So maybe the, the three times is going to come down, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's an easy flip. I bought this quickly in an auction. I'm going to sell it very quickly in a in a letter. So finally, we're doing the last one. I hope you're still with me. I really do. Now this one is this one. If it's what I think it is, then this one is exciting. So I've just opened it up. Check. There's nothing more in that. Right. Let's go through these. It is what I remember. Right. So we have a Squirtle Team Rocket first edition which is always good. It's not the reason why I bought this set, but it's a first edition. So always look out for first editions. An Alakazam from base set two. Now this is in excellent condition. Well, it was on the listing. I've, listing. I've just seen a slight mark here, something to be aware of. I'll, I'm gonna go through these um, in finer detail. That does look to be in very good condition though. So um, 
you know, we'll talk about the kind of values in a moment. I've got myself a Zapdos first edition. However, this this one's a bit of a gamble because it is, I think it's Italian. Um, it's not an English card. I need to double check that, but I don't think it's um, Rick and Morty. I don't think this is, uh, I don't know how much it's worth basically, because and I don't even know what language it's in, so I need to check that. I've got myself another first edition, Raichu, again, not in English. So again, I need to try and find out what, you know, what this means. Super, Super Scosa is the attack there, that's interesting. So I need to find out what that is, but again, it's first edition, and you know, I yeah, need to find the language before I can even think about listing that and find its worth. This you see, as you can see, this is a really interesting, interesting purchase. I got myself a star you, and the reason why I like the look of this is because it's shadowless, if you look on the right hand side. So that will be from quick research, that's worth five pounds. A Zapdos, thankfully, this one is in English. Uh, I believe that is a holo. Um Mm, maybe it isn't actually, but still that, you know, that can still fetch five pounds in good condition and it looks to be, but here is why I bought it. At the end, I have a Charizard from the original Wizards of Coast set. And that's a, this is a good final thing to open for this video today. So, you know what? I couldn't really see too much from the listing, how good a condition it was in. So this is, I'm revealing this to myself here today, so I'll quickly inspect it. There is some marks, you know, these things do happen, but you know what? That is in, that's not in bad condition for a card that is almost 20 years old. So, you know, these range from, I've seen these sell for 150 pounds in mint condition. This looks light play. Yeah, I'd have to say light play, but there's no scratches on the holo. I'm, I'm, I'm actually chuffed with that. Now, I picked this last setup for £50. £50. So, this Charizard, I'm hoping to list for at least 100 alone. 100 alone. So, I have the Charizard at 100, have the Zapdos for a 5, so that's 105. So, the reason why I bought this set, by the way, was for the Charizard, not for anything else. Um, so, they, they're all you know bonuses as far as I'm concerned. So we're on 105, Shadowless Sayu, another five, that's 110. Then we've got this Raichu, you know, who knows? Five to 50, five to 20, I'll say on that. First edition, so, and, you know, if I find the language, it, it, in, put on international shipping, who, who knows? Who knows? Zapdos, um, first edition, Holo. Again, different language, who knows? Let's say five to 30. Alakazam, recently sold one of these. Um, I didn't sell the second uh, generation. I sold, I said that sold a base set, but the base set sold for twenty pounds, and that was in shocking condition. So, yeah, again, I'm going to go for a twenty on that, and then a first edition Squirtle. Uh, need to check, but minimum three pounds upwards of six. So, you know, with six or seven, six or so cards there, that's profit of at least fifty to seventy-five pounds. All I needed to do was find this bundle, put. I think it was an auction. I put a bid in. You know, I knew that the higher price, people are unlikely to pursue an auction like that because they don't. People, especially if they see a bid, they will think, you know what, I'm not going to win that and they can't be bothered to, to, to compete. So there's another tip for you if you're looking to buy cards. If you see a good deal, put a bid on it because it sometimes stops other people from bidding because um, they don't want a bidding war. So that, that's it. They're, they're my cards I've got today. I've, what, you know... Mewtwo, Dark Machamp, Polyrath, Charizard, Char another Charizard from the base original base set. I'm, you know, I'm over the moon with all that. I've probably paid. I need to do my maths now. But I've, I've, I've paid under seventy five pounds, and I'm looking at two hundred pound profit there. Um, if I was to sell them all and sell them all right now. Um, so I hope this video has been really helpful for you, just to show you some of the things that I'm buying, some of the things that I think are, are good and you know, the kind of profit margins you can expect on buying these kind of cards. As you can see, I'm, I've kind of got to focus on the original base set, but I, I won't, I'll, I'll move into two other sets as well and, and collections if it's base set two or even ones I'm not even, I don't even know. So as long as it's, you know, these big cards are Charizards, they're, they're dated cards and they're in mint condition, they're always going to hold their value, it all go up. So yeah, as I say, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate 
Are you subscribed to my channel? And you'd also, um, you can also find out more videos like this. Um, if you have any questions, comments on how I find these cards, how I price them, how I, you know, how I list them, just drop down below and I'll be happy to help. So have a really, really good day. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.